Ferrari 812 GTS. With a vision birthed in the heart of Marinello, Italy, Ferrari has continued to produce outstanding sports cars. Today, we'll be looking at the Ferrari 812 GTS built immediately after the 812 Superfast models. It was released in September 2019 and has continued to captivate the hearts of car lovers ever since. This model came to many as a surprise because it was a sort of reincarnation of the front-engine Ferrari convertibles produced about 50 years ago. You see, Ferrari has a reputation of priding for its exclusivity, and so the 550, 575, and 599 were the only convertible models with a front-mounted V12 engine. Yet, not even everyone who could afford it could buy it. They were specifically made as a limited edition for a select group of clients only. Now the front-mounted V12 engine is back and we're here for it. To understand this reincarnation, we'll need to go into the history books and take you to when the first Ferrari sports cars were built starting in the 1940s. In line with the ancient horse and carriage means of transportation, they built cars with engines in front. It only seemed normal after all that what would propel the car to move should be in the front. However, starting from the 1960s into the 1970s, Ferrari made a startling engineering modification, moving the engines from the front of the car to the middle. It has reimagined this way until now as they have decided to bring the traditional front-engined V12 convertible road cars back to life. Go ahead, smash the subscribe button, and we kickstart this ride. In the words of Ferrari, the 812 GTS, which marks the return of the 1969 Daytona V12 Spider, is the most powerful production convertible on the market. What do we need to know about this car? Well, firstly, it is the convertible version of the A12 Superfast, which received a widely enthusiastic reception as many people prospected that it would be one of the last, if not the very last, road cars to be powered with a pure V8 engine. In many countries, it sold out within the first two weeks. As with the pattern of all GTS models, the 812 GTS does not differ much from the Superfast Coupe except for the retractable roof. The GTS offers you the possibility of shuffling between a hard-topped coupe and an open-topped sports car at the click of a button all within 14 seconds at a surprising speed of 45 km per hour. Ferrari is flexing with speed. In terms of engine structure and performance, the GTS fashioned after the ancient Spider. The 812 GTS is powered by a powerful 6.5 liter V12 engine with 789 horsepower. With a 7 speed dual clutch, it supplies 530 pound of feet of torque into the rear wheels. In case you're wondering if the 812 GTS still boasts of speed like its predecessor, the GTS Superfast, this car, has a top speed of 211 miles per hour and it's said to reach 60 miles per hour in about 2.8 seconds. The technicalities of a retractable rooftop and a modified rear compartment as a result may give the impression that the speed of the convertible may be considerably lower than the coupe, but this is not the case. Ferrari says its engineers were able to make up for downforce lost due to these modifications by infusing a triplane wing into the rear diffuser and enhancing the tonneau cover surfaces. As a result, the GTS falls behind the Superfast in speed only a fraction of a second. Quite close if you ask me. When you're driving a car as heavy as this with a heavy V12 engine, chassis, and furnishing that makes it weigh about 2 tons, you probably wonder how easy it will be to handle. However, it feels much easier to drive, and when you're inside you may forget that you're driving a beast if not for the roar of the engine. With a 6-in-1 exhaust, it starts with a deep and low roar as the speed increases. It gradually morphs into a loud screech, and you can hear this sound in the cabin even with the rooftop closed, but the sound's better heard when the roof is retracted. Thanks to the window at the rear, you can also hear the sound better without needing to retract the roof. For a blown convertible experience though, retract that roof and hear the engine roar as you rev it up. A powerful engine needs a powerful brake that guarantees safety and efficiency. A carbon ceramic brake enables a quick and smooth halt in a short time and over a short distance. Thanks to the mighty V12 engine, the GTS is an exceptionally long car. At first sight, you'll notice how the intricately sculpted hood merges with an extra long hood to produce a car that's simply a work of art. 
The rear makes a loud statement with two pronounced rocket-like buttresses that give the impression that the car is about to take flight when viewed from behind. Not so, however. Ferrari is simply playing on visuals and beautifully so. They extend this rocket look into the exterior with vents that appear to be launchers. Perhaps if you've dreamt of flying rockets, this car could be a subtle way of loving that dream. Ferrari has put a lot of thought into this model, giving it a hard-topped retractable roof rather than a clothed roof. So when it's retracted, you can get all the feels of a convertible as the wind blows in your face and tosses your hair strands around. But when the sun comes out in all its glory, rainy clouds start to gather, or when you just simply feel like being in a regular coupe again, the hard-topped roof is there for you. This uncanny attention to detail and exquisite finishing is what constantly puts Ferrari ahead. The downside to this retractable roof system is how it reduces cargo space when the roof is retracted, so you can't fit in so much luggage if you do decide to embark on a road trip with your roof down. You'll need to make a compromise or pack a small bag. Like most conventional sports cars, this Ferrari model has two seats. With carbon fiber becoming a favorite of luxury car makers, the interior is replete with it. The seats are fine leather with bespoke trimmings to give a rich finish. The steering wheel has been modified to be a sort of easily accessible control center with the start button, turn signal buttons, drive mode knob, and windshield wiper buttons embedded into it. This way, you can maintain extra focus and keep your eyes on the road. Ferrari has completely done away with the traditional gear in this model, replacing this function with a lever just behind the steering wheel and three buttons in the center console. If you thought that the 14 second switch between hard two and open two was mind blowing, then this next feature will surely have you screaming. There's a window at the back of the car. Yes, you heard that right. Not just a windshield, but a window that goes up and down. It moves both when the roof is retracted and when it's in place, and it adds such a beautiful wow factor to the driving experience. When the roof is down, it can be wound up to act as sort of a windbreaker to limit how much wind gets into the car. So if you want the air roofless experience, but then without so much air, this will help you significantly customize the windy experience. And when the roof is up, you can still move the window either up or down to let in some air or simply hear the exhaust roar. There's a six speaker stereo so you can listen to your favorite music as you cruise around in your beautiful convertible. Driver Assistance Ferrari has included a driver assistance software known as Ferrari Peak Performance, which has two major unique features aside from regular features like the backup camera and rear and front parking sensors. First, when turning around a corner, the Ferrari power oversteer will gradually reposition the steering wheel to set the car back on the right track. The steering wheel also enables the driver to know when the car is losing grip on the road by giving a feeling of torque. All these are seamlessly executed to give a smooth, enjoyable ride. The starting price for the GTS convertible is over $400,000, and additional preferences and customizations are limited with only one variant offered. Still, Ferrari is allowing its clients to decide what wheel designs, paint colors, and upholstery trimmings they prefer. Whatever preferences you choose will be written on a plate and screwed into the cargo compartment of the car. So when you open the trunk, it's right there for you to see. There are rumors though that the Ferrari 812 GTS is a phenomenal reincarnation of the V12 lineage of traditional road cars, but it may also mark the end of an era. Fingers crossed. What do you think about this convertible? Did Ferrari get it right with this model or not? Share your thoughts in the comments section and let's get the conversation rolling.